Hello my friends and welcome back to our continuing blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is your Soybeans Gaming Channel, and today we're turning in our 50th Stardust. And we also have to go find a way to punch Faust in the face, which I don't really know how yet. But I was warned by HN that this is a point of no return, which means if we're going to do it, it's got to be now. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. Lil. Martel, here. Are you sure? Thank you very much, then. Gave seven stardust. Huh? It reminds me. This one is the 50th stardust. I made it! I made it! I collected all the stardusts in the world! You collected? Excuse me? Martel, make a wish quick. I wish happiness for my daughter. I wish a bright future for my daughter. Oh, that's the best kind of wish you could have made. Huh? Aww. Lil. A strange dream. There was a woman. She said, I'll give you happiness. Isn't it strange? I'm already happy now. Aww. I got my mom and baby brother. That's happy enough, isn't it? Aww. Aww. I guess you're right. Ma, I cannot breathe. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Thanks to you. Not only has love found happiness, but I have too. In return for your favor, take this. Ultimate weapon? I feel so special power from this stone. A really special one. It might be useful for your journey. Just take it. Acquired the vanishing stone? Wasn't that was wasn't this the thing I needed to fight Faust? So in order to fight Faust, you gotta do all the 50 stardust? Which means that one a rabbit hole. Because if this is not the ultimate reward, then killing Foss will get us the ultimate reward. Oh boy. Thanks a million. I won't forget you ever. That's very similar to Shadow Hearts too. Because in Shadow Hearts you get the uh, the Rebirth Stone. Which unlocks the Final Fusion. Or the Destruction Stone which unlocks Amon. Uh, so the stones, yeah, very important. Kids are treasure chests of life. When you become a parent, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, well I guess I will see you all back at... God, how do I get there? Ugh, you gotta go to the Wingley's town. Which means we got to go to... Uh, we gotta go into the forest to get to the Wingley's home. Uh, I'll be back in, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll be back in a bunch of time. Thankfully, I have recordings of what I've done and before going down that rabbit hole, which... When that have led me to where I did, I realized, uh, Flyless? He's not what he thought he was. He's in the Tower of Flame Bell. So here we are, Tower of Flame Bell. Uh, no thing to note, also. My levels are slightly higher. Well, one higher. And the reason the one higher is because... I went ahead and threw a couple satchels at the Rainbow Birds. Why not? I mean, this is a party that I want to take to the end, so might as well give them as much experience as possible. I think only Dart and Kongola are one level higher. Mero is still one level higher, and she's about to level up again, which is really annoying, because it would have been better if she was level 37 right now instead of 36. But, let's do this. My name is Faust, the commander of the Super Mobile Fort Flameville. Below is the land of Taboo. Nobody's allowed to pass through. If you'd like to stay alive, go away at once. Faust. I think I heard something about it in Ulara. We did. Magician Faust, the most powerful wizard of the Wingleys. But this is a mere apparition of him. Oh no. That that stone is the vanishing stone. That's right. I got your weakness. I know. If it is the apparition, it should vanish with this. Oh, that's not the real 
Fast? Fast is using the apparition. It seems he really doesn't want anybody to go below. Wait, the apparition was that powerful? Oh man, I'm kind of scared what the real thing can do. What is down there? And the worst thing about this hall is we're bringing Kongo to the fight. Who has one of the worst magic defenses in the game. But you know what? We'll manage. Maybe. I have an extra dungeon as well? A lot of passages here. Seemingly able to make them through pretty quick, though. Uh, Dragon Helm. That is the best armor that I have on Meru. Uh, let's see. Yep, Meru has a Dragon Helm, but the others have Legend Cask. So those are probably best. Let's go ahead and save. I'm also gonna drop a save here just cause it's faster. Send me a multiple ways to go. One of these are specialized enemies for the land of Taboo. Take that, Congo. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I gotta practice that. Hold on. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Especially since I've been told that you can't get countered from that move. Which means it is something that is doable. What I have on him instead, I've got what I put with him. Right, I got his ultimate weapon on. We're about to fight a really scary boss. Attack with everything we got. Where are we heading? Down here, maybe? This one? Sweet. The two entrances over there. Boss isn't one of them. Huh? What is this? Trembling. Is the ground rotten? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. I gotta find the other entrance. fun part of the game here where we're having to use teleports to go all over the place. There we go. I swear if this one breaks I'm gonna be really upset. Oh come on! The ground is rotten to Oh come on! This game is a freaking troll right now. 
And like I say, going around magical portals is not really fun because these things are so convoluted that it's really hard to see where you've been and where you haven't been. See what I mean? It looks like that one's gonna break apart too. <sighs> this part's a little bit frustrating. Because of all these stupid teleporters. Let's go back in there because I think there was a way to go to the right. That one didn't break. Is this a dead end? Then what was the apparition of Faust about up there? Huh? Okay, so I didn't take run. I didn't take too much time, but still, it a little bit annoying. Oh, treasure! Where are we? It seems to be the bottom of Flamevale. You crafty humans! The sin of contaminating my secret Flamevale is an idiocy worthy of total death. This is not an apparition or ghost, it's a true magician Faust. Surprised to see a person who still knows my name after 11,000 years. Even more amazing is that you had the vanishing stone that took away my apparition. It's a miracle. Has he been living since the dragon campaigns, just like you, Rose? It seems so. You stopped being surprised since you met Charlie. It is not unusual to live for 10,000 years. You agree with me, Faust? Hmm, not bad, being human and being angels. And what is it you desire? Do you want to serve me, the ruler of the world? You are the ruler of the world. Don't make me laugh. In the near future, after the remobilization of my Flamel, the eternal absolute dominance which even Vu Fama couldn't achieve, the day I, Foss, become the king of the world. He's annoying. What are we going to do, Dart? Uh, we gotta finish him. I'm gonna drop a quick save here, though. I don't wanna have to go through all those portals again. We gotta finish him. We cannot leave such a dangerous guy alone. Hmm, you are ignoring me, the fe feared wizard. I now understand your desire. You desire a painful, wretched death! It will be no problem. I'll grant it to you now. Of course, Foss being the guy who... What, made a deal with the devil or something? We got the exact lore. Ooh, what's with all the whiz robes? Oh, okay, you can't attack them. There's only one target. <sighs> How to approach this? Now, he's a magical dude. So, using magic probably does not hurt as much. But he probably has low defense. And I know I'm assuming a lot here, but... What I should do is I should try to get Congo as strong as possible. I can even have Congo transform into Dragoon form. Uh, don't special though. Because I probably need items. Just like his apparition, casting massive spells. Double miss. Okay. Plan. Uh, I think I want to slow him down. 
Or I could power him down. Let's slow him down first, then we'll power him down second. Congo is going into Dragoon form. Congo is going to try to hit this guy as hard as possible. Hoping for 2,000. Oh my god! Alright, that's not 2,000. That's a lot more than 2,000. The heck was that? Oh. <laughs> Those legend casks are really a game changer right now. Okay, we are gonna power down this dude next. And Dart is also gonna go Dragoon. I mean, my theory about him being weak to physical might be true. He is a magician. Not as much same as Congo, but Congo has a power up, so that makes sense. Ow! This may be bad. If Meru dies here, I'm screwed. Okay, that's not hitting Meru. That's hitting Dark. And it's a fire spell, which is super powered up. But we got it's it's okay. How? Those helmets are ridiculous. Seems to get a lot of attacks. But we seem to be well geared for it. I'm gonna have her go dragoon as well. I know I can't use any items, but she can heal. And we still have potentially 8,000 more damage going at him. Alright, come on, come on. Can't fail this, can't fail this. Did even more than four thousand. Seems to love that attack on Congo, doesn't it? Seems like we hit easy mode. Uh. Go for Yippee. Darn it! Wow, 2,000 damage for Meru! Yeah, this guy's definitely weak to physical. There's no way she's doing that much damage. I mean, she's really strong, but that is ridiculous damage. Well, this is pretty. It's an ice spell. This may hurt Dart. Well, that's a cool spell. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Using an ice spell on our ice queen. I don't know if that's really the smartest thing we could have done. This guy gets so many attacks. Just attacks for days. Oh, 
Oh, this looks like a water spell. This could hurt too. <laughs> His helmets are broken. I'm starting to think he gets a turn every turn. Or is that gonna be our dart only? Cat looks like he may counter your physical attacks with magical attacks. Cause he hit Congo every single time. But he hit Congo with earth attacks, and he hit Dart with a fire attack. So he seems to hit you with the same element, which is really weird. Well that's pretty. I think what really helps me with this fight is the Dragoon Spirits. Uh, was it Belzac? Who had that really strong defense and you can only hit him with magic? So you naturally think, well, there's gotta be an enemy who's the opposite of that, right? Yeah, definitely pop your heal. Absolutely. down to yellow, which means he's got a lot of HP. Darn it! Didn't do it time that time. It's like a 400 damage difference. Seems to counter what the element you're strong to. So weird. God, his magic is so cool. I'll still take Meru over him any day, but his magic is really cool. Did a lot of damage on Marrow. Come on, Congo. Last turn, I need you to hit hard. Yeah! Three for three on Congo. Not the 5,000, but I'll take 4,000. Is he gonna kind of with the nerd spell? Uh, that's. Okay. I mean, I guess the giant twister, dust twister is sort of earth and wind. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned now. Because Mary needs to shoot off a heal, but if she dies, I can peel off. Okay, there's the earth attack. Okay, that's good. And Meru's turn is up, which is perfect. I really wish she wasn't in Dragoon form right now though, because a healing rain would be much better than a heal spell.
Um, Mary's turn again. Do I want to fire it up for another heal? Is he still yellow? He's red now. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's not take a risk. Let's fire off another heal. Because Mary is about to go Undragoon. And I don't want to take an unnecessary risk here. She's also going to be taking more damage now. Okay. Come on, Dart. Come on, Dart. Nowhere close, I panicked. I mean, 14 damage is still 14 damage, but it should have been much more. But his magic is really cool to watch. Ow! Ow! Okay, uh, she's at half HP, which means throwing a healing breeze here. Congo, come on, buddy. Need you to hit hard. Yeah! Yeah! Congo strong! So MVP of our last fight was Mero, and this fight is Congo. How about that? Wow. 10,000 gold, 20,000 experience, and a phantom shield. What the heck? Yeah, no duh, and one leveled up. I could go buy another legend cask. Give it to Meru. She doesn't need it. Well, I don't know. The, the, the other helmet's really good. The dragon campaign is not finished yet. We'll finish it by stopping my father. What's in the boxes? Magical hat? Holy onk? Oh, a dancer's ring! Actually, that's not great. I need bandit rings, don't I? Because dancer rings are for female. Yeah, I need a bandit ring. Okay, let us... Provide some depth with a given probability. Raise maximum MP by 50%. Ooh, reduce damage from all attacks by half. Huh. Well, that's really stupidly powerful. You know, I could actually give that to Meru. It drops her speed, but her speed is already ridiculous. So I don't need to worry about that. And the magical hat is cool because of max H MP, but her dragon um, her dragon helm increases her max HP, and I'd much rather have max HP than MP on her. So I mean, the Phantom Shield's really nice, and if I go get her, I can't give her. I mean, if I give her a Legend Cask, she loses about 800 HP. But the Phantom Shield decreases things by half, and the Legend Crash would decrease things by half. Effectively making it so that 800 HP is not... It is not as crucial, right? I don't know. Okay, what's forward?
Oh, this is taking us up and out. Oh, I thought there was something more to this place. Oh, well, I guess finishing off a uh, really strong boss is is the reward for being here. Wow, it just like kicks us out completely. All right, my friends. Well, I don't think starting a new area is is what I should be doing. Uh, I think stopping here for the day is actually a good idea. We've been playing for about a half hour and I'd rather focus on the new area in the new episode versus, you know, versus the alternative. But yeah, I love you all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. We'll be back more for more Legend of Dragoon as we go to Mayfill, I think it's called. Uh, the third of the areas that we need to go to and I feel really good about this party. This party is stupidly strong. I, I feel like we're almost invincible here. I, I really feel like we're almost invincible. And Mary was about to level up again. She's 400 EXP from level 38. By the time I go back out of this place, she may actually have that. So yeah, she's, she's really strong too. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you again soon. Until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird.